Right, good morning guys. So just a, a quick follow up on yesterday's video, uh, which was preparing pallet wood. Uh, just been to the local uh, builder's shop or Bevan's Rightways uh, to buy some oil. So bought some raw linseed oil and some teak oil. So I'm not sure if you can see, but one is slightly darker than the other. Not a lot, but it is. So I'm going to put two pieces of wood down um, from the same palette, same colour, and I'm going to use one on one piece and the other one on the other piece uh, just to see what sort of colour and effect it brings out. Okay, so this is the uh, raw linseed oil. What I'm going to do is put them on, let them dry, and then we can compare the two. Quite a thick oil, this one. the raw linseed oil. This is the teak oil, which is a lot runnier. A lot more absorbent. This is just soaking straight in. water this one I want to try a couple of different oils just give it, give it a few different effects and colors and so so far the raw linseed oil looks glossier, but I'm sure that will uh, die down as it soaks in. Right, so while we're waiting for these to dry, I just found some uh, some Osmo protection oil. Um, it's just a tiny bit. Of so I thought I'd put this on as well. See what this is like. I've got some darker stain, uh, which I'll probably use as well. So this is quite thick, this one.
very thick indeed, actually. Indeed. <laughs> Probably hear in the background my son shooting nerf guns as well. Okay, so leave that to soak him as well. And then the stain I've got is a antique pine stain, which when I put on yesterday it looked very dark. I just done tester, but today it's actually dried out. Um, okay, so I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so that's the Osmo. And we'll just leave that uh, dry, have a look after. Okay, so this is... Sorry about the uh, Nerf gun firing. <laughs> uh, this is the antique pine wood stain. When I put this on yesterday, I thought, oh, it looks so dark. But as it's dried overnight, uh, and I've looked at it this morning, it actually looks pretty good. I've seen people use uh, vinegar and wire wool so you leave the wire wool soaking in the vinegar overnight until it's um, basically sort of disintegrated and um, some of the effect from that is, is pretty good but I just want to stain it and get on with it really so as you can see this is a lot darker and then I'll get leave them dry and then I'll get the, the one that I stained uh, yesterday in this colour and um, once it's dried so I'll just get that so you can have a look so this is the piece that I um, done a little tester on so as you can see that's it uh, obviously before that's it with the stain on so I've just done a little testing section um, so I put it on, uh, let it dry, and then very lightly sanded it, just um, just very lightly, a couple of seconds, and then it's given you the effect of the grain. So I'll probably be doing that on quite a lot of them, just staining it and then giving it another quick, quick sanding. So here we've got the um, different oils and stains um, which I've just brought in from outside. It's quite sunny outside so you can really um, see the difference. So these four pieces of um, pallet wood um, were all from the same pallet, they're all exactly the same colour um, before I stained them. And I don't dislike any of them to be honest here. Um, this, I'm just going to give a quick sand. Um, what I might do is just quickly sand all four of them just to see sort of what effect um, it comes up with. But um, as long as it's not shiny, which is not what I want, this is probably the shiniest, um, which is the raw linseed oil. Um, this has come out quite nice, the Osmo. Like I say, they're all quite nice. So I'm just going to give them a quick sand and then 
we'll see what they're like after sanding. So there we have it, um, all are very lightly sanded, again, but um, yeah, I think quite effective really. These two are very similar. Um, we'll put that in between that. So that's it. So that's it guys for another video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I've never done anything like this before in terms of um, prepping pallet wood, so it's all new to me. Um, I just wanted to see what all the different oils and stains were doing. So um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.